So this picture was taken exactly one year ago. And um, that was also the last time we've seen each other since then. The years passed. We both finished school. I graduated from college. And since we live on opposite ends of the world, we figured why not meet somewhere in the middle. So this year we've chosen Japan. I don't even know how to describe how excited I am to see her again. But at the same time, I wanted to take you guys along for the ride make the most of this trip and uh, hopefully we can find ourselves a good time and also give you guys a good look into what you can expect when you go to Japan. I will see you guys on board. We just got off the plane. Um, already the air feels more humid, more moist. This is Narida Airport. This is also where I'm gonna meet Pnar and also our good friend Mariko. Kinda nervous. I don't know why. Should I be nervous? I see them over there. Are you still walking? Maybe. Hello. Hello. I don't know if you were hungry. But I got the sushi. You bought me something? Yeah, I got you Thank sushi. Thank you. Look at this. <laughs> it's see through. Is it gonna yeah. even do its job? I don't know, but I gotta buy it. You know, usually when I'm like in America and you're in China, I always like want to update you whenever I get to new places. Yeah. Like, text. Yeah. So like we got here and I'm like, oh, I gotta text Pinar. <laughs> <laughs> but but you're right here, I'm so right it's okay. Here. Yay! Okay, so now we are in Osaka and we got our good night's rest at a hotel. Last night we ate at this place right here, and already right off the bat, you can taste the difference that Japanese ramen has. Like, I don't know if it was just the shop specifically, but the broth is so much creamier and thicker and it feels like they put a lot more effort into marinating it. So like I said, we are in Osaka, which is the second largest city in Japan next to Tokyo. It's about a three hour bullet train ride from Tokyo to the west. And now we're just walking around. We don't know exactly where we want to go, but that's the fun part. So this is a famous Michelin starred Okonomiyaki restaurant called Mizuno. Uh, we're gonna try it out right now. So this is the okonomiyaki. Sort of like an omelet, but it's got more layers to it. It's kind of like a crepe where they cook the bottom and then they put stuff in the middle and then they put more egg on the top and it becomes kind of like a sandwich omelet crepe. And now we're not butchering it. Yeah, it was, it was good. I, I, it didn't blow my mind as much as the ramen last night. But I'm glad we tried it. The egg itself is very much like an omelet. There's no seasoning on it. And most of the items are quite mild in taste. The biggest source of flavor comes from the mayo and the sauce that they put. So that was pretty good. But if you have to wait in line like for more than like an hour, I don't know if it's very much worth it. Uh, you can probably find okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki, I don't know how to say it. Okonomiyaki? Thank you. you can I'm not sure. You, you can find it all over the street. And speaking of the street, we're now in Dotonbori, which is a famous street in Osaka. There's a ton of food everywhere. It's three kilometers long, according to Mariko. There's plenty of food. It's literally melting. Like, I don't know if you can see it. Tagoyaki I've had usually doesn't do that. So that's really cool. Oh my god, what just happened? Nothing, don't worry about it. Nothing happened. We went up the stairs and there was a cool little thrift shop uh, themed with 60s and 70s gear. Uh, I even ended up finding a little cute little note earring. Look at that. What's that? Alice on Wednesday. Is what is this? Do you want to go in? Yes. What in the world? This is like a uh, Alice in Wonderland themed shop. 
it's very cool. Yeah? It's warm and it's cold and it's creamy. No. And there's a pigeon. We have an English speaker, which is me, the ignorant American. We have a multilingual speaker and we have Mariko who can speak about three languages. She's the only Japanese speaker though. She's like our tether to this country. So thank you, Mariko. We walked from Dodonbori and now we have wandered into Shinsai Bashi, which according to the map is Osaka's main shopping area. And here you will find a lot of trendy areas, vintage shops, coffee shops, all types of delicacies. We got some good ice cream buns and all this stuff all over here. So if you're into all of that, then I'd highly recommend you checking out this place because it seems to be no end to all of the little trendy things that you'll find. <laughs> right now we're in this book slash toy slash sex toy slash action figure slash comic slash anime world. I don't know what's going on here, but it's pretty cool. And I've never seen a store like this. Hey, handsome. You're alone. We just found this dance shop, like full of dancer gear. Is that Wing Zero? Oh, it is. This place is dope. <laughs> For the last few months, my friend Nathan has been stationed here as a US Marine in Okinawa. And he actually came during his 4th of July week off to come visit us. So we're gonna go meet him right now. I'm excited to hear how his experiences here have been. There he is. Nathan! Kevin, I found you! What up? You found me, dude. Good see you. We're currently on Dodonbori Bridge. Uh, this is Dodonbori River. Right now we are on the edge of the Dodonbori River. This is what separates Dodonbori Street from the other side of Osaka. And along this edge is a bunch of different things that you can go to. There's, there's all types of attractions. Uh, there's a lot of food. There's a giant supermarket. That's a Ferris wheel up there. The big giant pill shaped Ferris wheel. Look at this. What you guys just missed in the last few hours was us going for a mad scramble for the Shinkansen because right now we are leaving Osaka to go to Tokyo but we uh, were not very wise with our time and we missed our train. The thing is we're very lucky and I'm very grateful that Tokyo is very accommodating with their trains. If you happen to miss your train in America you might have to wait till the next day to make sure that you are not only on time to your station but are at least like an hour or two early because anything can happen and uh, don't miss your trains or your flights because you might have to pay the price for us so hopefully we learned our lesson uh, yeah we are headed to Tokyo now I was trying my best to make something that would be able to capture what we were doing and at the same time give you guys an insight to what it might be like to be in Osaka so hope that helped and I'll see you guys in Tokyo